Ah, here. Oh, yeah, I think I was getting some questions about this one. And uh, this one, it takes a thinking through. Um, it, uh, uh, I think this is one of those questions where the default advice we give to a lot of physics students goes, which is um, if you feel like you are having trouble with a question, you are um, you read it and you don't feel like you understood or you know you thought you understood it and then you give an answer and then it's wrong um, the number one thing to do is draw a figure the figure helps you make sure that you accounted for all the information that are given to you and you make sure that you um, you didn't misunderstand anything because it's a uh, really easy to kind of read through these English words and then uh, miss out some key information so uh, there's also a hint here. Take a look. Um, and it says, you know, follow the instructions in the question. So let me follow the instructions in the question and do this uh, carefully. Um, so, all right, it, it says for calculation, great. Uh, okay, so this information here seems important. So let me read it carefully and I'll draw a figure that represents that information. For calculation of gravitational force with a spherical object like Earth, we use the distance to the center of the sphere. A person standing on the surface of the earth is at about this many kilometers from the center of the earth. All right, uh, let me kind of draw a figure representing that information so that I don't miss it. So here's my representation of the earth. <laughs> Sorry, I can't draw a sphere. A uh, person standing on Earth, and what that information is telling me is this distance from here to where the person is standing. That this distance is uh, six thousand three hundred and seventy kilometers. All right, um, and then it says the International Space Station is in a low Earth orbit at about four hundred kilometers above Earth's surface. So. Let me draw that. Oh, so I have a space station that's in an orbit. Um, so this would, could be the satellite that represents the space station. And what the question is telling me is that this height above the Earth's surface is 400 kilometers. Um, and then it asks, by what factor is an astronaut on ISS farther away from the center of the Earth than a ground-bound person. This is where I'm hoping if you've drawn this figure, that as you look at this figure, you realize what the distance is from the, um, from the satellite to the center of the Earth. So you have this uh, altitude, height above the surface, and then you have to add this radius of the Earth, 637. Uh, can't say the words, <laughs> 6,370 kilometers. So the total distance here, you add them up. Uh, let me just do that on calculator. <laughs> um, and that's gonna be the total distance uh, from the satellite to the center of the Earth. So it's asking by what factor. So it's uh, asking for a ratio uh, and it's asking for an astronaut is some number of times as far from the Earth's center. So the ratio I want to take is the ratio of this distance to the, this distance. Let me do that on the calculator. Um, so the ratio, this is the ratio I want of, what's gonna do? It's gonna look online, eh, let me do it. Ratio here, I'm just gonna type in the numbers to, using my keyboard. So the number on the numerator is a 6370 plus 400 that, uh, the distance to the International Space Station, that's the numerator, and the denominator is the distance to the someone on the ground, 6370. And you get the ratio of 1.06, uh, let me just include the next one, uh, three, and rounding up. Um, so 1.063. My computer's slowing down for some reason. I hope it's coming through okay still. Uh, I don't, sorry, I, computer's slowing down for some reason and all I notice is it's buggy on my end. I hope it's coming through on your end. 
So 1.063, great. That's the correct answer. That, uh, um, uh, that's how much farther the astronaut is than the person on the ground. And I hope you realize that this is it's not that big of a difference. It's like a 6% difference um, than what's on the Earth. Um, and then, okay, given your answer above, by what factor is the gravitational force on the astronaut smaller? Um, so there's a algebra you can do. You don't need to do it. The hint kind of tells you how to do it. You know, remember that inverse square law means gravitational force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Um, and even there's an even an example, something that's twice as far apart uh, will be a, a force will be quarter as large or, you know, one over two squared. Oh, that gives me an idea. So this is how far away the astronaut is, 1.063. So how much smaller the force is on the astronaut? It should be something like this, one divided by this number squared. So let me do that. That seems like that's going to be easier, quicker than anything else I'm going to do. So one divided by 1.063, and I need to remember to square it, and then equals gives me 0 0.885, 0 0.885, and that should be correct. So um, this is probably the most calculation intensive question on this one, and it does require you to kind of think through the scenario. And my recommendation is to draw a figure like this to make sure that you understood all the information that's given in the question. 